The fastest growing area in the region in the last 10 years, the population in St. Charles County has grown by nearly 13%. With the flow of people comes a new concern, crime. The leader of St. Charles County is calling St. Louis City to curb its crime problem. County Executive Steve Elman says the region's reputation for crime is getting worse and suggests perhaps it's time for the state to step in. News Force Caroline Hacker joins us live in St. Charles after speaking with people on all sides of this issue. Caroline. Well, guys, County Executive Elman says he wants to see the region as a whole continue to grow, but he's fearful that that may not happen here or anywhere for that matter. He says if the region's leaders can't get a hold of the crime problem. For years, St. Louis has been labeled a crime city, but now the leader of St. Charles County says that label is spreading and he's calling on the whole region to get crime under control. The reputation uh, has hurt us because people that don't live here don't understand that it's not it's not everywhere. Because of that, Elman says he fears people are crossing St. Louis off their list, not giving the region a chance and stunting its growth. And if the region doesn't start growing, eventually everybody who wants to move to St. Charles will do it and then will be no growth too. He's penned a proposal to the legislature calling on the state to step in and exert control over the St. Louis City Police Department if the city cannot cut down on crime. But city leaders say there has been progress, pointing to 52 fewer homicides at this point in the year compared to 2020. Some of the root issues of crime, not unique, they say, to the city. Substance abuse uh, has no borders. Uh, we know that there are many people coming from St. Charles County, uh, St. Louis County, even the Metro East into the city of St. Louis who are um, fueling a drug market. And so that's a regional issue. But it's enough to make some suburban residents wary. There's a lot of folks out here that just don't want to go downtown. Tom Shaw has lived and worked in St. Charles County for years and says things are trending in the wrong direction. It is starting to bleed over to St. Charles County. I was a victim. My car was broken into broad daylight at a restaurant in St. Charles County along with a friend of mine. They dropped off this guy to steal his car. They found it in the inner city about three days later with blood and bullet holes in it. Earlier this year, Governor Mike Parson announced the Safer Missouri, Stronger Missouri initiative. It comes after a statewide survey found 70% of business leaders believe crime is impacting the state's economic competitiveness. But Parson says it's not the state's job to step in to oversee city police. We're here to partner. We're not here to take over and we're not going to take over the city or the county. But the one thing we will do is we'll partner, try to help if we can reduce that crime and make sure people are safe. Now, another aspect of that proposal he had was one circuit attorney that would oversee both St. Louis County and the city. And he says he believes that would be a better idea because in that way, uh, more voters, a larger swath of voters, both in the county and the city, obviously, would be able to vote for the person that they would like to see prosecute the crimes in the areas where we see the most very similar to what Kansas City has. Today, we reached out to Wesley Bell's office as well as Kim Gardner's office, both declining comment. We're live in St. Charles tonight. Caroline Hecker, News 4. Caroline, thank you. All new